millennials looking to invest in the stock market, it's a lot easier these days compared to the past. Um, now that um, we've had technological advancements, it's, it's as simple really these days investing in stocks as just downloading a mobile application on your phone and you can uh, start trading live. Um, quite a number of stock broking firms offer that um, option of trading, trading online. But away from, from that now for a minute, one reason why I feel that um, millennials should really start to look at the stock market is because I feel there are a lot of opportunities in the market. Um, I think um, what has happened in, in the economy in the last three years has actually presented a bargain hunting chance for a lot of stocks. What that means, bargain hunting, what it means is that a lot of stocks are undervalued. They are undervalued. Um, their prices are more than half for most of them. And that is not because their profit margins have uh, compressed or, or that um, revenues have slumped or all, all of that. No, that's not the reason. It's more of just sentiments. So when that happens, when sentiments like that drives uh, stock prices, then for some of those companies, you would find that even while, while there's still a lot of value in that stock, the price is fairly undervalued. There are quite a number of these type of stocks in the market. And I feel that um, millennials really need to start asking more questions these days about how to make their money work for them. You know, it's, it's really, it's, it's important. I, I could call a number of stocks off the top of my head that I feel that provide very good bargaining, uh, bargain hunting opportunities for, for investors. Number one is Guarantee Trust Bank. Now, Guarantee Trust Bank has, uh, I think, as of this morning, was trading at 39 Naira per share. It's been moving up. Why? Because foreign investors are returning because they're trying to avoid the crowded trade after the election. Remember, they left because the, of the uncertainty around the elections and all of that and the impact that could have on exchange rates. So that was why they exited the market. But now they're coming back with the, because they are, they are starting to take, they want to take positions early enough before Saturday's elections so that there is no crowded trade after the election because a lot of foreign investors will be coming back at that point. So for Guarantee Trust Bank, 89 Naira, as I said, now that is down from close to 50 naira just in the first, uh, in February, February 2018. Right? You would expect that if GT stock price has gone um, south, then it's probably caused um, revenue shrinking, um, that's interest income for the banks. It means it could mean interest income is shrinking or property after tax is falling or they're not able to um, garner enough cheap deposits and all of they're not creating assets as fast as they would like. But that's not the case. In fact, their return on, GT's return on equity is now 30% and that's up from 25% in 2016. Their profit margin is now up to 75%. That's as at the third quarter of 2018. 75% profit margin. That's coming from about in and around 50 two years ago. So these indices almost suggest that Guarantee Trust Bank should be rising, right? I mean, investors should be developing more appetite for, for the stock because they're doing well, but it's not happening because of a, lot of, a, a number of um, reasons that are not driven by fundamentals. So in my mind, if you look at the investment report of a, quite a number of um, top investment banks in the country and even outside the country, would, um, their average target price for GT um, by the end of 2019 is close to 55 naira. So imagine that, 39.55. That's, that's, that's a good opportunity. So if, if I can put my money as a millennial, and millennials, we don't really have a lot of money, we're still trying to just uh, see how we can ration the little money we have and make the best choices with them. The banking sector stocks are always more attractive because they are more transparent. So imagine I want to put 200,000 naira in a stock and then that stock appreciates 100% because I bought cheap and now the price is rallied, right? So let me give you an example. Fidelity Bank, for instance, was about one naira as at the beginning of 2017, but now it's two, more than two naira, it's cost the two naira mark. That's 100%. So imagine if at that, um, in 2017, I put 200,000 naira in Fidelity Bank's uh, stock. Now I have 400,000 naira. You know, so my gain is 200k. 200,000 naira is not so much money, but it, it is. 
How many things can you put 200,000 Naira in today in Nigeria that will get you a 100% return? You know, so these things, I just feel millennials really need to start asking more questions. A lot of people don't have sufficient knowledge about the stock market and how it works. That's why the opportunities are a bit limited. But I feel millennials really need to start asking questions, start getting more curious, you know, doing some more research, and really just asking themselves, how can I make the little money I have work better for me? I mean, there's, there's never been a better time than now when we know that um, we're really undergoing a lot of economic hardship. Uh, unemployment rate is at the 10-year high of 23%, meaning that people are losing their jobs at a very frantic pace. And that was reported by the MBS in the third quarter of 2018, the unemployment rate. We also know that inflation is, although it's come down in the last two years, it's still in double digits, higher than the CBN's preferred target of between 6 to 9%, which means that the cost of living is higher. So this, this, the economic situation now really should um, push more millennials to ask questions about how they can um, make their money work better for them and where they can invest in. And I think one of those opportunities is, stock, is in the stock market. It's not restricted to the stock market, there are other opportunities, but I think just one of them happens to be the stock market. But you need to also have the skill and patience to select the right stocks, not just go and buy a stock that at the end of the day you left yourself to buy.